With his bright pink shirt, Abdullah Abu Rahma was easy to spot in the crowd. On this day three years ago, he was arrested near the separation wall. At the end of a bike rally he organized commemorating the Nakba, or the day the Israeli state was established in 1948. The Israeli military is well acquainted with this longtime activist. He says since 2005, he's been arrested eight times and has spent more than a year in prison for protesting against the occupation. We dealt with his prisoners in a violent and barbaric way with inhumanity and humiliation. The last time they threatened to push me out of a speeding military jeep and say that I tried to run away. This is a threat that is most dangerous and most terrifying. On Tuesday, Human Rights Watch released a report highlighting the Israeli army's use of military orders in the occupied West Bank. It says for 52 years, these orders have deprived Palestinians like Abu Rahma of their human rights by targeting activists, protesters, non-governmental organizations, and journalists. The group says these military orders were intended for short-term use under emergency law not for a more than half a century occupation. It is now time uh, for Israel to grant and respect uh, the rights of Palestinians, the civil rights of Palestinians, all of the human rights of Palestinians, uh, using as a benchmark uh, the rights it grants to Israeli citizens. We spoke to correspondent and author Yona Bob, who recently published a book delving into the balance between protecting Israel's national security and human rights in the West Bank. It's good that, you know, the world, um, you know, focuses and looks at, you know, is Israel uh, doing enough? Um, it's good to have uh, that pressure. On the other hand, again, I think whenever groups want to criticize Israel or say, you know, have you done enough? It's important to recognize reforms have been done, and it's important to recognize that Israel, Israel is operating in an incredibly challenging environment, um, and that terrorism isn't sort of like a fake thing. It's Abu Rahma says his treatment by the Israeli army is intended to silence him and other Palestinians who are resisting the occupation without violence. Despite the months spent in prison, the huge amount of money spent in legal fees and fines, and the trauma to his family, he says he'll continue to protest and hopes others will as well. Natasha Ganem, Al Jazeera, occupied East Jerusalem.